Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRadiation.com and welcome to another video of our test project video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about test project version 3.0's GitHub integration and how we can manage tests with different versions within test project. This is a completely all new feature introduced in test project version 3.0 and this is one of the awesome feature which is there out of the box in test project right now where we can manage different versions of test right from our test project and we can see what's happening within the github itself so i'm not going to really show you a lot of boring slide let's get into the test projects platform and see how it actually works so as you can see this is our test project platform and we have test project platform with all the different tests and all those things but we really didn't had any opportunity or chance to actually manage this test or version this test if something changes on this test then we really have to go back or revert the changes manually or re-record the test or record what we have recorded before but now we have an option to actually manage different versions using the github integration and as you know the github or git itself is a version control system which helps us deliver the different versions of a same file or same project or program and that's exactly what we can do with the test project with different versions of test as well and as you can see we have a new git integration over here where we have the github option at the moment maybe in future there will be git labs or any other version control systems but as of now we have github integration once i select this option you can see it is going to ask you the organization name and the access key so the organization name or the username of your github you can provide here and the access key is the way you can actually access github repo that you have got i have got my exit automation repo over here and i already have some access tokens and stuff but i'm going to show you how to recreate it once again so i'm just going to give my uh, organization name as execute automation and then i'm going to access the access key so in order to get the access key you can go over here go to the um a settings of yours like that and then go to the developer settings and then there is this personal access uh, token over here and i already created a test project uh, token but i not going to use it for now i'm going to create a new token from here so if you're not really aware of this personal access token you don't know how to get it there directly you can also click this option to generate the access token it will take you directly to the same page that i, I just navigated and then i'm gonna give a name here like test project v3 and then i'm gonna give uh, some access uh, to this particular uh, managing of that particular repo something like that uh, and then i'm just gonna generate a token so once i do that i get a personal access token i need to copy this i need to secure it because once it is generated it's that's it i mean you can't really see this token once again it's gonna be uh, hidden afterwards and once I paste this and once I hit next, you can also be presented with all the projects within test project which can have access to the GitHub integration. Well, I'm gonna choose some of the project from here. I can either choose all the project or I can choose a specific project. But as of now, I'm just gonna choose all the project and then I'm gonna hit save. And once I do that, you will see that test project GitHub integration is now enabled, the green toggle there. And then it's all good to go for our test to start versioning whatever that we have all these days we have never ever had an opportunity to actually do a synchronization before but now do you see that there is an option blue color symbol over there it tells that this is a syncing project with git what does it really mean so if i actually can uh, go select one of the test you can see that we have an option called a show history so once i select this show history it is going to show you all the histories of tests that i have got at the moment, I don't really have any because I have not even made any changes on my test. So it's looked pretty much the same. But now if I just go uh, and make any change, for example, if I go to this particular test and then I feel like I really want to uh, enter some details probably over here, I'm gonna add some comment for, um, for version control, something like that. So you can see that I'm just making a super granular level change on the step. Uh, over here once I save it and once I do a save and exit now what's gonna happen is you will see that uh, it's been modified like a few seconds ago and now if I go and hit this show history you will see that I have a commit detail so this is an automatically generated commit for us over here which is pretty cool 
and now you can see that there is a id of our commit and once i hit this thing you can see that it is going to take me directly to that particular private repo which has been created automatically from test project like demo project and you can see that what has actually been changed and you know that the first commit actually is going to commit the whole test itself that's the reason you can see that the whole test is actually sitting here which is nothing but the coder test which we have been using from version 2.0 that's exactly what it is like the whole test is now sitting over here like 563 lines of code is sitting it's been uh, sitting for us in the first commit over there which is cool and now if I make any further change, you will see that particular change alone. So uh, let's say within the login, I'm going to add, uh, I click the uh, login uh, in the app like that. And then I'm going to save this particular step, save and exit. And if I just go to this particular show history right now, you will see there will be two commits this time, as you can imagine. And now if I click this particular commit, you will see that it's going to just show you the time change that, that because it's created and modified that I was showing you on the portal is coming up over here. And then there is a new comments. It says I click the login in the app. So all these commit details are going to come up for us. And within this demo project, as you would imagine, it is going to have the data driven test and the readme over here, which is quite cool. So whenever you make any further changes, all of these are going to be starting to add. And it will also tell you some information here telling that um, this is the project, this is the name of the project, and it's been created by the test project. It's an auto generated um, repo. So, all these informations are going to come up for us, which is cool. And now, if I am going to make use of this particular GitHub repo, all I'm going to use is if I try to run this particular test, you will see that it is going to ask me some agent, which I have not started yet. So, I'm just going to start the test project agent and now if i try doing a run over here and if i select the agent which is my m1 agent and then i select the chrome browser and if i hit next and then if i try running it it's going to run the test based on the changes which i have made i mean i have not made any dramatic change in my test so it's going to look pretty much exactly the same that you would really imagine see how it's going to run so that's exactly the same thing so there is no change at all uh, with this particular version that we have got so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over here within my test and then i'm going to just modify this particular test a bit for example the username uh, one that it has entered over here like user 01 i'm going to make this as user 100 something like that and i'm going to save this particular step i'm going to save and exit so it would have automatically committed these changes back over there and if you go to the show history you will see that there is going to be a change which is cool and now if i really wanted to run this test it is going to run the change 100 user for us but if i feel like i really want to go back with my previous version of the test i could do that as well and i mean you can do that very very easily by just selecting this guy and go to the show history and within this option you have this guy download option so if you just download this one it is going to download the test based on the previous commit that you have just did and you can run this test and see how it actually works so for that i'm actually going to open my terminal over here so i'm just going to type test project hyphen agent and then run so this is exactly coming from the test project cli option which was introduced in version 2.0 so i'm just going to run that and then you remember that we downloaded this yaml file in our uh, download code generation so i'm just going to copy that i'm going to paste it over here uh, and then i'm just going to hit run so, so you can see that it is a data driven test and it is currently running uh, and you can see that the agent is also up and running uh, so we have this uh, cli monitoring that uh, and you can see that what's happening behind the scene so it has opened the browser for us and then it's entering the username and password and then it's going to perform the rest of the operation and as you can see this time it's entering user 01 instead of user 100 because the last commit that we downloaded had user 01 rather user 100 so that's what is happening at the moment and you can see that the test has been completed successfully and there is a report as well for us over here so i can just go open this url and you can see that the report is coming up 
and it has all the details that it has entered so you can see that it's user 01 and all those things which is cool so it is happening at the moment which is all good at the moment for us so this is how we could see that we could able to do the version controls uh, with our test projects inbuilt option so we could able to even do something like stop git sync if we really don't think that we want to do this syncing every time if we feel like it is something we don't want so we can do that from here and with this option we also have the power of using github action with the uh, github repo if you really think that we could able to include that within the github actions and stuff we could able to do that but again that's not part of this particular video but as you can see that we could do a lot more thing and this integration of github along with test project has opened up a whole new perspective and whole new way that we can maintain our test within our own repository and use the test projects github integration for maintaining the tests and there is one catch at the moment all the recorded tests are going to be sitting within the github integration so if you think that uh, you want to do your coder test to be available within the test projects so like you upload your coder test and then you want it to be available within your github it's not going to happen but as you it's going to be your code then definitely it also makes sense that that's going to be something coming up from your github repo so it doesn't have to be with github integration itself so that's the only workaround that you have got but as i told you all these things are pretty awesome available within test project out of the box so github integration with test project is quite awesome to maintain our tests once again thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day